Today we are homemaking in the summer. Summer homemaking still requires routines, keeping the house clean on the inside, maintaining the gardens on the outside, keeping the family fed, and also enjoying what the summer brings with the beauty, the pool, and just the life of being a homemaker. We are enjoying some outside time and I'm just taking a peek at all the new things happening in my gardens from the blooms on my new hollyhock I got this year to just the green full flowers that are coming up, the phlox that are blooming and the bee balm, the daisies which are slowly fading and just enjoying the vibrancy of the color and the sun and also seeing my husband cleaning out the rain gutters on our garage. The routines of the day still have to continue with morning naps for the little guy, laundry when there's time to be able to fold that, and just getting a chance to get some inside things done as the kiddos play outside on the swing set, the other one's napping, enjoying my coffee and the peace and quiet while I get a task done. These little moments of quiet where I do a task, I can just pray and think are such a blessing to have every once in a while in my homemaking life. Then on to making a banana bread. This is a chocolate sourdough discard banana bread recipe over on my blog. And it is just a hit with the family, especially when bananas seem to turn very quickly this time of year because it's so <laughs> humid and warm. So it's a good way to use up some of those bananas and some of that sourdough discard that seems to happen quite often because I forget to bake with it when it's rising or when it's nice and bubbly. So yeah, you can check out the recipe over on the blog at davykillian.com. And I love just being in the kitchen. It is such a joy to be in the kitchen. I love being outside, but I think kitchen is my second favorite place in the summer other than being outside. Um, it's just nice to have little treats and snacks and breakfast foods to make for the family. And this bread is a hit. So is this hummus. So I use some home canned chickpeas and this recipe will be over on the blog as well. And then I use some tahini, some salt, lemon juice, and then I like lemon pepper. Little guy is playing, sorry about that. And so it's just a very simple recipe. Throw it in the food processor and voila, you've got some easy hummus. You can put garlic in it. Uh, you could roast garlic, you could roast some peppers. This is just like your basic recipe. Um, with the home canned, chickpeas it was a little bit runnier than i expected so store-bought canned chickpeas seem to do a little bit better job or you could just drain more of the liquid off than i had I do have to say I appreciate how well my kids play independently. Even when both my husband and I are home, we are able to do little tasks without interruption, maybe just checking in to see what we're up to or show us something. But I think part of that is to attest to less screen time for my kids. They don't watch much at all. Um, in electronics and I push them outside a lot. We are outside, as a lot of you know if you follow me, we are outside quite often. I am in the gardens, I'm pushing them on the swings, we're in the pool, and so getting tasks done is just a lot easier when the kids play. I have a five-year-old, three-year-old, and a one-year-old, so of course he needs a little more attention, but you know, this kitchen set got moved out of our basement when it flooded, and so that has been a really handy toy to have outside as well. Kind of became a water kitchen next to a little water table, and so just kind of making things a little more creative this summer for the kids to do outside, especially the one-year-old. He loves playing in that kitchen set with the water table, splashing, cooking, and it just is so nice to have little tools and things for them to enjoy while you're doing some tasks and getting jobs done. So there's my shade garden. Ah, I love all the blooms that are coming again. The coneflower, some of the phlox, and just enjoying the beauty. Now it's time to go and pick some lettuce with my little guy. 
So I just recently put out a blog on summer gardening in my July gardens and this aquaponics garden, which is fish farming and plant growing combined, has flourished this year. My greens are doing so well and it's really nice to still be able to have fresh greens in July because usually they turn bitter because the weather usually gets pretty hot and lately it's been cooler until this week actually I'm doing the voiceover it's been mid 90s but anyways the lettuce has been a blessing to have I enjoy salads daily and with some homemade dressing and now getting a few tomatoes and cucumbers just makes a salad even all the more enjoyable and for lunches we usually just do like a simple charcuterie board type lunch and then the cleanup. So routines still have to happen with the cleanup. There's always messes after meal times to take care of. The tables wiped, the trays wiped, the chairs wiped, floors swept, dishes put in the dishwasher or washed by hand, um, and then just resetting it for the next meal or the next meal prep, which comes so quickly, I often feel. The kitchen j gets put to rest for just a few hours and then it's time to get back in there for the next meal. But the summer routines are a lot more loose, I would have to say. We don't do the schooling. Um, we are definitely outside a lot. I think the fresh air is so good and they usually go to bed quite well when they are pretty worn out from all the fresh air. So just getting some of these simple routines in, even for myself, makes summer much more smooth. And there's the chocolate banana bread. Oh, and that day we did have a pie I made the day before. It was a um, mulberry peach pie with a crumb topping. And so for afternoon coffee, I had that. And then during nap time, I decided it was my bathroom cleaning day that I was going to get some of this homemaking done and the cleaning tasks done. So I really, I've shared this before, but I really try to prioritize time and what I can do with my time because time is fleeting. And if we don't use it wisely and we um, waste it. It's hard to get things done. And then if you're like me, you get overwhelmed because you have too much to do because you wasted 30 minutes scrolling on Instagram or you chose to do something that was not fruitful or productive. Don't get me wrong. There's times where I need a brain break and I'll grab a book and read or I'll just go ahead and bake something for fun um, that is not really useful like to that I need like a meal because I enjoy baking for relaxing or I'll just go out and garden to putz around in the garden. But most of the time I do try to prioritize when I do specific tasks and the bathroom needs cleaning. Like especially in the summer, it probably needs it more because we come in with wet feet after swimming in the pool and we get grass all over or we're just more dirty. So the house is pushed aside a little bit more in the summer because we're outside so much, but it still needs a good maintaining and cleaning. After nap time, we enjoyed getting some yard work done. So my husband had mowed and we needed to rake up the grass clippings, which I appreciate because that's how I mulch my gardens is with all the grass clippings. Usually he'll bag it, but this time it didn't work to have him end up bagging it. But we just walked around with a wheelbarrow after we all raked up some little piles and I was able to mulch my garden. And I add grass clippings probably a good four to six inches thick because weeds are just very persistent aren't they <laughs> they come up through any thinner layer than that and mulch like grass mulch will decompose so if i have enough for later in the season i'll add more as well and i usually just try to do it around the plants closely like the bigger walkways i leave because i can hoe that area a lot easier but it's nice to have the grass clippings close so like in between my onions in between my corn rows and I did a share in my blog about my vegetable gardens as well, too, if you are interested in those. So getting a little yard work done, having help from everybody is such a nice thing to have. And snack time. These are some delicious popsicles. 
Oh, and second coffee of the day. I guess the other one you saw was probably leftover from the morning and I just put it in a fun cup. So making my husband and I a decaf latte, iced latte on this particular day, because why not make a little coffee for your husband and enjoy and drinking those while you do some more projects around the house or outside. So I'm already working on supper prep. Like I said, the kitchen gets put to rest just for a short time. I am making a raw broccoli salad with a tahini um, balsamic vinegar honey dressing. It's delicious. It also has chickpeas in it, so I used some more of those home canned chickpeas. And you can use goat cheese or feta. This time I used feta cheese, and I'll link the recipe in the description box but I had to cut up the broccoli to the right size. And for ease, sometimes I buy the pre-cut broccoli florets and not the heads because like I said, for ease, sometimes we just need the easy button and eating the fresh broccoli that's already cut for you just is a convenient way to go. Still healthy because it's the raw fresh food and nothing processed there, but it is just easier that way. whole family enjoys the days my husband is home from work and just seeing him around more often catching some um love taps some time him time of him spending with the little boy is a joy so we're having steak roasted sweet potatoes um that broccoli salad and my husband is also going to grill some pineapple with cinnamon on it so i'm getting that prepared we have a charcoal grill and i just love that flavor of charcoal and roasted pineapple with cinnamon on it or grilled pineapple with cinnamon on it is so good and so are sweet potatoes Ugh, our family loves sweet potatoes we can eat multiples a day and so that's why i'm really excited to have sweet potatoes in my garden i did last year and they produced really well these are not from the garden they're store-bought but I just am excited again for all that produce that we're going to get off the garden. While my husband and I are doing supper, the little kiddos are still out playing. You may have noticed we were wearing pants on this particular day. That is because the mosquitoes have been prevalent like more than prevalent with all the moisture we've had you can't go outside without getting bit multiple times so we've been either wearing lots of homemade bug spray and or wearing pants but when it's 90 degrees it is hard to wear pants so we have just been um, plugging through being outside and swatting at the mosquitoes and just still trying to enjoy the outdoor beauty because it is such a beautiful time and it's so fleeting that I don't want to miss this opportunity to watch my kids swing on the swing set while I water and just be present in the moments whether it's a task whether it's enjoying the kids giggling on a swing or enjoying my flowers while my husband stands next to me.